Hi guys, I just wanted to update you as I've been finishing off my presentation um, today and I wanted to update you with um, where we are now. So if I come into the Warclair group in Mahara and we have a look at the collection, you'll now see that there is a third page added and that third page is one that I've put together myself that just um, sort of gives some context to the project. Um, so on that third page you'll see yourselves and a little bit of a description of the project and the setting for the project, um, an example of one of the recordings I've made and also down here I've added um, a little slide share of uh, um, what it means to use Creative Commons licensing as well because that will be mentioned in the presentation um, although we haven't really explored it very much. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've, I've had a quick look through here I think probably you might want to change a couple of things but that's up to you I leave it entirely up to you here. I did add your names as authors to make sure it was clear um, that, that you have ownership of this and um, the second page in particular is really full so I was going to suggest one thing that you might consider doing and I'm not sure whether um, you, you want to do this or not but I will show you what I was thinking about so I was thinking that if we go back into our Moodle into our course um, where we had the sharing forum uh, on our course page so coming into here and the sharing forum uh, I'm going to find it quickly by going in the course tools I think that's going to be the easiest way in forums yep so there's a sharing forum here and Four students did submit, Wang Zi did, and Gertrude did, Grace, uh, oh, and I put it something in myself. Now, normally it's quite possible to export these through into the portfolio, but as I'm looking at it, I'm not seeing that. So usually there's export to ePortfolio as a link here, but I'm not seeing that. Okay, so okay we'll have to leave that then that's that's obviously not an option because what I was thinking of is we, we could actually um, export some of these but you've actually put the details from these anyway within the within Mahara um, and Grace had put that in and you've added it so yeah so there's nothing else really to pull through unless there are other things that you want to do Okay, sorry about that. I thought that was that was going to be a quick thing to demonstrate, but it's not going to be as quick as I thought, unfortunately. I'll have to check that out. Right, so back in Mahara then. Um, what I'm going to do is to take that collection, uh, the URL to that collection, and I'm going to make a, a, what's called a secret URL and that secret URL I can then use um, to share the collection on Monday. Um, so secret URLs have to be generated so we'll go to here. Let's see, it looks like we might even have one already. New secret URL. Okay, so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to use it to um, make sure that other people can access and let's just do a quick test to make sure that it's open yeah okay so that URL is what I'll be able to use then so if there are any changes that you want to make if you can make them before um, Monday that would be great and uh, I will be showing it on Monday morning uh, if you're on Twitter I should be tweeting about it uh, at Warwick Language and uh, I'll try and bring you back some Mahara goodies um, I can't promise but I'll see what I can find thanks ever so much for your hard work really appreciate it have a good weekend